emotional. And she's up against, well, it's a big one, Xiaoyaki of China. Local favorite, world ranked 11. Xiao just back from the World Championships in Milan, where she placed 10th. She's had numerous medals at uh, world level, has Xiao. And she's got the home crowd on her side as well. Xiao competed in the Olympic Games in Tokyo back in 2021, was 18th in the individual competition. And Sarah Nucha, well, it's going to be difficult for her to regain a spot on the French team because the French team are so strong. We've got Sarah Balzer. Uh, Manon Apati Brunet has come back after shoulder surgery and has come back very, very well into that French team. Uh, Caroline Carely as well. But Nucha is young enough to consider that uh, could come into the team maybe after Paris, but getting into the team for Paris could be difficult for her. Oh! Lovely long attack from Nucha. <laughs> Nucha was seventh uh, in the individual at the World Championships in Cairo oh! shortly before she had that. Uh, operation to sort out at the knee pain that she'd been fencing with for for quite a few months but it seems to be sorted out because Nucha's uh, five three up parried by Xiao Xiao picking up the right of way and finishing for China so Getting the home crowd going again. Preparation pulled on Nucha brings a big cheer from the Chinese crowd. Yes. Referee thought about that one and has given it to shout. Tight, tight decision. Xiao now building the long attack and finishing. Finishing to the mask of Nucha. And Nucha's early lead has been wiped away here. Now will Xiao take us to the break? 8 3. And she, 8 5. She goes just that with a three point lead. That's what I meant to say. So three points ahead. Xiao, Nucha. Started so well. So Xiao being coached by French coach through the interpreter. Xiao's yeah. 
Charles attack. Charles points. And Mucha just needs to change things up, change the tactics slightly. Maybe go on the attack, don't back away. Charles just asking for the crowd to be a little bit quiet here. You can't hear the referee. And the finger goes up there from Charles, just acknowledging that she got caught there with the distance trap from Lucha. Lucha's attack. But preparation called. So Lucha started the attack and then pulled her hand back, according to the referee. And they'll have a look at that one. Lucha couldn't find the parry there, and the attack came through. And Xiao is looking in a fairly comfortable position to advance through to the gold medal match. Xiao's attack that time. Lucha able to get one back. Xiao doing that. Korean hop. Oh, he missed. And then finishing with the remains. So the attack from Shao there was parried, and there, yeah, that was the parry. Another parry riposte there from Nucha and has closed the gap to just three points. But a good little run here from the French fencer. Has to have the confidence she can get back into this. Oh, lovely sky hook or stop cut, as we like to say. So not Chow's right of way, but she just caught Nucha on the wrist and then got out of the way. Parried from Nucha. Three points in it. Again, a big point from Nucha. Superb parry post there. Oh, Nucha just falling short. Shao backing away. Nucha's attack. Oh, Shao manages to beat her with a distance. And then picks up the right away and takes it through to 14 11. Nucha so close there, but attacked into that closed line. Attacked into the guard of Shao. It's so noisy in here that they really can't hear the referee calling Ale. Shao's attack. Oh, lovely counter from Nucha. Two points in it. Can Shao see this one through and get China into the gold medal match? The locals would love to see that. Oh, it's going to be... It's going to be Shao's. 15-12 the score, and the local fans are delighted with that result. Shao Yaki, and you've got to say that Sarah Lucha really took it to Shao Yaki. And great to see Sarah Lucha back and fencing so well. And a difficult match for her against everyone in the crowd and Shariaki who is one of the top ranked fencers in the world
So confirmation that uh, Xiao Yaki is through 15-12 over 